All right, welcome back, Quant gang, Quant fam. Uh, we haven't covered Quant in a while, but uh, we've been really good with it. And so, what we see right here is the monthly time frame. What we think ultimately is at play here in the grand scheme of things is that this is actually your like wave four right here on a macro scale. So we had this rise up right here. That was your wave one. You know, this rise up right here was your wave one. You came down here for your wave two. This was all the way up wave three, four, and we're heading into five right now. Uh, one of the uh, things with this as well is we stopped right at the 382 right here at $48. Uh, that is where you'd really want to see your wave four stop at. However, it could come all the way down to the 0.5 level. And if you want to go with like the most like simple of terms, you do have wave one but i uh, shouldn't cross through there but <clears throat> anyway i digress getting into the smaller time frames is which is what i'd imagine most care about so what we've been talking about right here for a while now we've been playing this quite quite well is essentially that we came up to here oh i don't know why that's not huh so we came up to here we said this is going to be our make or break point this 382 at 161 so if we get rejected here then our analysis still stands that we think this is your wave one right here of your wave five so a subdivision one of wave five and that we have a wave two which wave two would be a corrective wave meaning that we'd be looking for a b and then a c so going further from here i do not well let me rephrase going from here i think this is our low and i do not think that will be broken however i do think that we need to make one more move down before we get a, another bullish move similar to this back towards upside now going along with that what would be the price areas that we are looking for so assuming that this is more so correct where we would be really looking for next is um at the very minimum really this pink box purple box right here so we do have our one two three six for the abc fib and that is at about 77 dollars 93 cents i think that there is a chance that we stop here however i do think um a little bit more inclined to say that we do go at the very minimum or not let me rephrase so at the very minimum this one two three six at 77 dollars 93 cents is where i think there's a chance that you bounce at however I'm leaning a bit more towards this uh, pink line that we've had here for a while. That's at about $66, which is the 1.4 and 4, if I am not mistaken. Yeah, it is the 1.4 and 4. That's at $66.96, uh, which if we do look on higher time frames as well, would this be an area that makes sense? Uh, yeah. Right at the start of these large candles moving up. And I believe it's the same thing here on the weekly. Uh, the weekly is the 236. That's at $72. Or monthly, I mean. So you could just come back down to that monthly. Maybe have a wick lower to like right here. And then that's ultimately where you end up reversing up for like that month. Not saying that this will happen all in this one month. But um not to say it's impossible and then even if it were to do so as such what we would then potentially be able to say is that hey we have like a bull flag forming like that if you want to look at it like this then i mean you could just be looking for upside right here but i i really don't see that playing out at least in my opinion so going back to daily time frame it's already about four minutes um yeah, that's kind of what I'm really looking for. I am looking for lower prices, but uh, I, when like we get this move that breaks, I think the drop will be really, really quick. And I think that we, once we hit that like bottom area, we'll be there for a couple of days and then we'll just like V up almost. But um, I mean, really other than that, it quant doesn't look terrible, but like I said, I am looking for more downside from here. Um, 
I think you'll really start to see that downside kick in once you break doo -doo -doo. Once you break about 101 with the closure uh, Super short term you could anticipate a bounce, but I would anticipate really a bounce no higher than about 124 So other than that none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions and you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios muchachos